Hello, hello everyone. Happy, happy Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday, everyone. We're coming at you. We are so full. We were rushing around. We had some errands to run this morning. And then we realized that we were hungry. So we stopped at one of our favorite places here in town, an Asian place, Emma's. Oh. And it was packed out. And then me and Becca, we're sitting there and we're in the turn lane. And we're like, I think we've always got time. There's one space There's left in the parking lot. They can't be that busy. No. So we get in there and I'm like, do you think we can make it? Do you think? Well, guys, we shovel our food down. <laughs> It was worth every it's bite. So it was so good. So me and Beck are full as ticks right now. Yes. And we made it back just in time to go live with you. Also, I did not have not even five extra minutes to do makeup. So you get the bare face, Rachel, today. You know what they're going to say? You're beautiful without makeup. You don't need makeup. You don't have to put makeup on. And because that it's is true. That is the sweetest. Thank yes. you guys so much. Yes. Um, I've been trying Rachel, what to are we hold doing my... today, though? What are we doing today? What are we doing today? Do you want to know what we're doing today? What are we giving away? What are we what giving are we away? Announcing? We're so if you guys have been around with us for a back of weeks, weeks, we announced that we are giving away a Cricut Maker Three, a brand new one. So exciting! And that giveaway is happening today. So anyone who it was who subscribed with us. Uh, here on YouTube from a couple of weeks ago until now. No, 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 no. This was the, this was the, if you purchased the course. Yes. Yes. If you purchased the course with us from Black Friday to now. Uh oh, yep. oh, oh, Becca. What? Our maker's blinking red. Okay. We started. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. You're not going to get this one. <laughs> Trust me. Cause we've had some problems out of this one. Any who's, I don't mean to start, you know, keep going down rabbit trails. We're giving away a Cricut Maker 3 today to one of you lucky, amazing people who joined with us in our amazing flock. It looks good now, Becca. Oh, bless you. Sorry. Whew. Uh, that would be bad. Anyway, we're announcing it today. We're, we're going to do a today. number generator, a random and number generator. Becca came up with this. Really Becca, tell it. them yes. how we're going to talk. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to pull up our random number generator and the low, actually, First of all, we have assigned uh, flock numbers to ourselves. So the lowest actual purchasing flock number is 323. Mm -hmm. um, we have assigned 320 to Rachel, 320 to me. 321. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. 321 to me and 322 to Anna. And then Julie is 324 because somehow it, it, skipped. it skipped from 323 to 325. It was very odd. Anyway, so we all have flock numbers now. But in the in the random number generator, we're going to start at 323 and go up to, I need to look at the most current number um, that purchased right before we went live. Um, no, no, no. It would have been from yesterday. From would have been from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I'll look at the last number from yesterday, and we will generate that number, and then look up who that order number is. I'm hoping that you're like, oh, it's me. I already know that number. Yes. Yeah. So let um, let us know if you're excited about this. We're really excited. So we're going to give away <clears throat> a Cricut Maker 3 today. Brand new. Ship it straight to you, which is going to be amazing. And again, if you're like, well, I'm sorry I missed that giveaway, but how can I not miss any future giveaways with the flock? We would like to offer you guys to come join our flock today. You can click the very first link down below and grab this mini course that we have created. In the purchase of that mini course, you'll also have amazing access to our flock, which is our exclusive Facebook group uh, through May 31st. Now, if you guys got it the past couple days, the price has increased because we had an amazing sale for Black Friday, Black Friday through Cyber Monday. And it was really cheap. We still, we were talking about today, we still think it's very cheap for what all you get. It's true. The Flock is our exclusive Facebook group, which is just an amazing place to be. It's an incredible community where all types of crafty people come together and just, it's, a, it's amazing. It's like one big family. And the price tag on it should be much, much higher. And now you get a mini course and you also gain access to that flock through May 31st. So it's really exciting. So go grab that if you haven't already. We would love for you all to be a part of the flock today. That's what we want is for you guys to be a part of the flock and support us and have a ton of crafty fun. Let me see what you guys are saying. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Look at all these. We love it. Especially, I'm going to shout out Christy again, Napier. She came on here on YouTube. 
changed her YouTube handle to include her flock. It says Christy Napier flock number 463. And I just think that is the most precious thing. Yeah, ever. you've won a ton of kudo points from us. Listen, like we've talked about it twice already. We have. Like just from among the two of it. Like we it's it's amazing. We it's love it. It's so cool um, that you did that. Really quick, how you find out what your number is. One of two ways. You can look at the confirmation email that you received when you first signed up. It has the order number there. That's your flock number. Yes. And then um if you don't have that email anymore, you can look, you can sign into your account, look under the courses tab, and then right next to where it says craft with the flock, there'll be an order number. And that's, that's your flock number. That's so here's number. the thing, friends. Um, your original purchase order number is your flock number for life. So for instance, you have this, this order number from purchasing this course, but in a year or whatever, if you want to purchase the subscription that we roll out, you'll have a new order number, but don't go by that order no. number when that comes out. It's the absolute original. This one. is your founding yeah. order yes. number. This yes. will be the one that you need to remember forever and ever. And we will remember them too. We yes. love, we love that you guys love your numbers. It's so yes. cute. So today we're going to be making stocking tags two different ways. We're going to be using the Glowforge, which Becca has already prepped for me. Thank you, Miss Becca. You're welcome. Yes. And we're also cutting one out on the Cricut, which Becca also prepped for me. Thanks, Becca. It's like I do nothing around here. I don't. Becca does everything. You're growing a baby. She wears all the hats. <laughs> So we're also going to be cutting one out on, with our Cricut. And we need to go ahead and start this because it takes about 30 minutes fully to cut. And then we have another layer that we want to cut out as well. Um, so we need to like get going on our um, chipboard. Hopefully this Cricut will work for us. We have our knife blade in there. We already have our mat prepped. And I'm just going to go over the supplies needed for this section. And then we'll go to design space, switch over, and then we can get started with like the other Glowforge project. But I want to get this cutting for you guys so you can see the whole process. So Miss Becca cut this one out, which is absolutely the cutest thing in the world. It's so stinking cute. I we can't did this project. Did you already say it? We did this project on no. helping hands. Yeah. Here, let me do the overhead. Yes, yes, yes. Look. <laughs> so this is the one that Becca made. I must say, it looks hella good for not being able to see hilarious i know listen I especially mean, the outline here it looks like a four-year-old made it but i couldn't see so no you couldn't see a thing i think it looks good i think it's adorable so you we have missed the win the maker three winner we will announce that toward the end of the segment yes yeah, mm -hmm. so we want to keep you all waiting yeah. a little longer we've kept you waiting a little bit anyways so this is what we have we have prepped this and if you want to know how we prepped it we grabbed chipboard this is the heavy chipboard from cricut the two millimeter chipboard and we've just placed it in the top left corner of our mat and used some uh, masking tape on the edges. This is a strong grip adhesive mat. Now, of course, this isn't Cricut brand. This is Paper Studio. And you need to use a stronger grip mat for this. So this is perfect. It's all prepped. We've already prepped it. Um, now, let me fix design space first, and then we'll switch over there. Um, yeah, okay, we're good. So... Here over in design space, we're going to do a little bit of manipulation and then be able to cut out our base. Now, Becca already cut our base out. We're going to be cutting one live for you today so you can see that in action. But what we need to do, this is how it imports first. How stinking cute is this? This is how it's going to look. Shep, you guys might not know who Shep is or what Shep means or anything like yeah. that. Shep is... Becca, oh, we'll get him. Shep? I'm going to get him. Oh, she's going to get Shep. Okay. You're not supposed to touch him, so I'm just going to touch his hat. Okay, yeah, just yeah. touch his hat. Oh, Shep. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to touch him. Yeah. Well, he's going to have to get used to being. I think it's being, okay with adult hands. He's going to have to get used to being touched. But this is Shep for you guys who don't know. Okay. His oh, name is Shepherd. Shepherd. And, sh you know, Shep is short for Shepherd. Yes. Yes. So he is the shepherd of our little flock here. Um, he will be watching over us all, making sure that we all here are being nice and not naughty. Yes. Yes. And Becca made him a sweater. Let's do an overhead of okay. that. Yeah. And I could just, I could, I could just lie. Look how cute. Look. So oh, here's Shep. It's so cute. He's absolutely precious. And we're making this ornament today for him. So he's going to get a, an adorable little reindeer ornament for himself, which is just precious. I'm going to stick Shep over here for us. Amazing. So he can be here for the rest of the live stream. So back over in design space, though, guys, now that you've met Shep, it hopefully makes more sense on what we're doing. Yes. Now this word Shep, Becca hand-lettered. She hand lettered Shep. So that's incredible. I was just telling her today how she is advancing so quickly doing hand lettering. It's beautiful. So all we're going to do for this is weld 
Becca's amazing hand lettering and the edge of our um, SVG here. Our cut file. We want to weld these together so that it's one piece. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to click the outline, hold down shift, and over here on our layers panel, I'm going to click that shep that Becca hand lettered. Then I can release that shift button, or key rather. <laughs> and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click weld. And look how cute. Now it's all going to cut out together. Now you can use any font for this too. Any, oh, please. Yeah. Yes. Use any font. I'm so sorry. I totally just went right around right with that. Didn't even talk about it. Yes. Please use any font that you guys want to, um, to fill in here. Um, it's, it's super easy to do that. Just use any font. Of course, it's better. It needs to be able to cut out in one uh, fell swoop here. So try and make it a cursive type font like that. So once you have that, you're good. This is going to cut out of uh, vinyl. This is going to cut out of vinyl. His little, let me ungroup it here, his little reindeer nose. And it's already sized exactly how we want it, um, which is the size that we cut out. So I'll show it to you guys later, and then you can decide if you would like to make yours bigger or smaller or anything like that. But right now, ours is um, a little over six inches um, high. So this is perfect. We're going to go ahead and click Make It. And I have my Explore 3 here. Now make sure you're on the correct um, machine. So I'm going to go down here and click Cricut Maker 3. And now I'm going to click Make It. And let this sort. I'm going to click on the mat and done. And now we're going to have three mats here. Now I'm going to cut this one out first again because it's going to take the longest. So what's going to happen is I'm going to click continue. And I need to plug my, my Cricut in. Hang on just a second, guys. Boop. There we go. Now it should connect here. Perfect. And you're probably not going to. Usually I have to cancel and then re- Click continue for this. I don't know why. Sometimes it's a little finicky. But I'm going to go here and we're going to select our material setting. Now, I'm going to have to set my computer over to the side. This cord is right in the middle of the overhead camera. So I'm going to have to unplug my computer and set it to the side while it cuts for us. So we see that Becca has already favorited our heavy chipboard. Now, if it's not favorited, all you have to do is click browse all materials and search for it right here. If you want to favorite a material, hover over it. You can see the star right here. You can click on that star and it will favorite it. Uh, and I don't want to favor that one, of course, but we already have this one here. I'm going to click that. And here it says knife blade calibration recommended. We're not going to do that today. And then it's set to heavy chipboard. And it tells you move star wheels all the way to the right. Make sure no material, the material is not wider than 11 inches and it's secured to a strong, strong grip mat using masking tape on all four sides. So it does a great job at reminding us what we need to do to make sure this cut will be successful. So I love that. Now, after this, we're going to select regular vinyl for both of these, except for this one. This one is actually, oh, and we'll talk about it. It's smart vinyl. I'm not happy about it. It's all we had in red. <laughs> I literally said, Rachel, don't be mad. It's, You're going to have to cut it out. all we had in yeah. red. So we're going to go ahead and let this cut out. So we're, we're good. We can switch back to the, I think, my, my face for right now. And again, oh, we're not good, but that's okay if you switched over. No, I haven't yet. Okay, good. Leave us right there then. Okay. So as you can see, we've already cut one, and I, I want to uh, scooch this over. So I'm going to go down here and click edit. I don't know if it's going to let me move. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to move it. Ooh, where should I move it? I'm actually going to turn it too. I'm going to turn it upside down. Don't ask me why. <laughs> and move it over here. But again, it's only 11 inches, so we can't put it past the 11 inch mark. And this one, is it like the, let me look here. This one goes a little bit past the five inch mark. So this is going to be good right here. This is going to cut out good. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to click done. Now you can switch it to me. Sorry, Becca. Um, Crisis averted. Really quickly, Miss Carol says, that gives me an idea. When you get your Glowforge up and running, have it compete with the Cricut to see which cuts faster. So just just so you know. Come on. Just just that piece right there that Rachel is about to cut cuts 30 or takes 30 minutes. Just that piece right there. Um, the piece in her right hand, which is cut out of MDF board, plus the nose, plus the extra outline, uh, which you'll see in just a second, uh, cut out in the Glowforge, and I think it was a minute and 26 seconds. So, yeah, that would be a hilarious so competition. So I think it would take over an hour to cut all of the pieces with the Cricut. 
Yeah. Which is why this other option that we're giving you is a better option if you have a Cricut because 30 minutes really isn't that bad for cleaning now, it out. I mean, and if we're talking about it a little bit, of course you'll, you'll be able to see it as well. But in person, this one's so much more professional though. Like the Cricut one is fine, but like the edges are going to fray. It's not going to last as long. It's not as sturdy. It's, there's just, there's some give and take here. Yeah. If, I mean, if you can't afford or don't want or aren't interested in the Glow Forge right now and you have a Cricut, this is a great option. We love to give you guys options. So I'm going to throw this in here. We have all of our star wheels over here. Excuse me, Shep. I'm sorry. I hit him. Now we're going to load this in. Right in here. Make sure I've got it under my little lips there. And this is going to take about... Becca, when you were cutting this, do you remember how many passes it said? I think 26, but I can't remember. That's rough. It'll and tell me too. The other thing is, is sometimes when it's cutting chipboard, you can stop it in the middle to see um, yes. if it's finished or not. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can do like 16 of the passes or something like that and then stop it and it has cut yeah. all the way through. Um, so maybe, maybe we'll stop and, and see how it goes. And, yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'll just put my computer back there because I didn't want it in the way or anything like that because we are going to be uh, painting and finishing this little fellow while we wait for this to cut. Um, and, but we'll talk about some more supplies that we have too that we have got on the table. So we have our chipboard that we already used and we have our masking tape that we already used for our strong grip mat. We're also going to need a light grip mat, which I think this one's just so fresh and new. Oh, So we have our light grip mat absolutely perfect and that's what we're going to use for our vinyl we have white vinyl now this is vinyl from um, <clears throat> 143vinyl.com at starcraft we also have some red vinyl it's cricket smart vinyl <laughs> we, we are haters of the cricket smart vinyl Ugh, it's oh cricket my. smart vinyl it's all that we have clearly or we wouldn't be using it becca did we get this in a bundle Yes. Because we would never willingly purchase this product. Only to test it for you guys, uh, which been there, done that. Consensus, we don't like it. Um, it cuts fine. Hard to weed, hard to transfer. The transfer process is horrendous. If it wasn't an itty bitty piece of a nose, I wouldn't even use it. I would pretend like we don't even have <laughs> any red vinyl and work through it, but it is what it is. So I'm going to open this up. Um... We don't love it though. And it's another, it's in, this was a big uproar when the new machines came out for people wanting to use smart vinyl because it can be cut without a mat. We don't think it's all that amazing to cut without a mat. Um, we still cut with a mat. Becca, have you cut without a mat at all here? No. No. Why, why would I do that? I don't know. I was just making sure you weren't crazy or nothing. Oh. We don't like cutting without a mat. We always cut with a mat. It's never like, oh, darn, we've got to put our vinyl on a mat. We don't think about that. It's fine. The only reason I would ever do it is if I needed, like, a long a cut, long like cut. a yeah. six-foot cut or a 20, you know, something like that. That's literally the only reason I would ever do it. Which makes sense if yeah. you're doing something yeah. like that, which we've never had to. And I guess if you want the machine that doesn't hold you back in any way, shape, or form. The Maker 3 is really good um, for you. We're also giving one away today for one of the ah. lucky, amazing people who um, joined our flock this past weekend. So that's amazing. We also have some paint. We have white paint, red paint, and some little pouncers. Um, and these are actually makeup sponges. You can get these at the dollar store. We bought, bought them in like a pack of 200 off of Amazon for like $6 or something. Um, they're super handy. So we have those. We also have, in the realm of vinyl, we have some transfer tape. Now this is clear transfer tape. And we're going to be transferring onto chipboard. I'm personally a little nervous about it because chipboard like paper will come off in like little layers. So I'm a little worried. What we're going to do is cut us a piece, and before we transfer it, we're going to apply it to our shirt, apply it to the table, try and get it a little unsticky so it doesn't hurt our chipboard at all. So that's what we're using as well. We have some gloves for painting because I like to keep my hands pretty clean if I can possibly help it. And we have our Lin Lily glue gun, which 
We love our Lim Lily glue guns. She's they're, the best ever. She's the best ever. We love it. And if you guys haven't watched our Black Friday live stream, I suggest you do that. It is a barrel of laughs. It's so much fun. Uh, so go over there and check that out for sure. We love it. Let me see. For those of you who are going to ask, I'm going ahead and dropping the Lim Lily glue gun link for you all. We always have someone ask. Um, I think it's probably in the description, but I also like to share it with you all for ease. Absolutely. Uh, easy finding. Absolutely. Um, it's our favorite ever. It's amazing. Yeah. It, really it makes is. a really great stocking stuffer too, because it's a decent price point. Um, if you have any crafty friends, that would be a great like secret Santa gift. It or would be. Take it to a white elephant gift, like gift exchange. If you have and friends that are those, that way, it's yeah. one of those. We got it. We or we were told we were going to receive these, and it's one of those gifts where it's like an underdog. Okay, you right. get it, and you're like. Oh, that, that's cute. You know, thanks so much for my white elephant gift. This will be great. You know, and you're like, okay. You go home, you use it, you fall in love with it, and then you're like, how did I live without this thing? That's how it is. It's like a really underdog product. We could not live without it. It was probably one of the first five items that Beck and I thought of when we needed to do when we were making our own office and filling our own office with supplies, one of the first five things was the Lynn Lily, honestly. And I'm looking back here. It does say 24 passes. And right now it's on pass five of 24, um, which isn't too bad. Um, so if you want to, we'll go ahead and paint our Glow Forge pieces. Becca, is there anything you want to say about the Glow Forge first? Like, in the, and also, Little PSA, we're having another live tomorrow about the Glow Forge as well, I think, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look at me already forgetting my job. Um, yes, we're having another video tomorrow, live stream, about the Glow Forge, and that's going to be a more in depth video. So far, we've said, you know, like this one, uh, two ways. And we say one's the Glow Forge, but tomorrow is going to be a lot of good opportunities for you guys to ask questions. Becca, I think might roll the Glow Forge over here uh, for you guys to see it as best you can. Um, it's an incredible piece of equipment to have. Every single time Becca fires it up, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I run over there and I sit. And she and just I, sits, yeah. And I stare at it. And Becca's probably like, my gosh, Rachel. But I no, can't I don't help care. it. I can't help it. It is, it's so fascinating to me. I love watching it because it does so many different things and Becca has it cut so many things from this MDF board, which is kind of like a, a wood chipboard type thing, to like engraving metals and onto like plastics. And it's so, it's so fun to just watch it do do its thing. Becca, are you getting it? Uh, well, yeah, I wanted to show them this because this was made with acrylic and print and cut yes. vinyl. So you, we made that with a Cricut and with the Glowforge. Which is just too cute. So it's a white acrylic here. And then, woo, print and cut on the front. And it's yeah. so stinky cute. And that's on my mini um, pegboard. Pegboard, yes. Yeah. I mean, the, the, thank you, Becca, You're so welcome. much. Yes. It's so cute. Uh, the possibilities are virtually endless with this thing. Uh, Becca, what do you think? <clears throat> I have a guess. What do you think is the hardest part about using the Glowforge? My guess is... When you want to engrave or cut something, you don't quite know the depth of it. Yeah, so like the I, settings. I, I, yeah, I would I would agree with that. So Glowforge has a ton of preset settings. Yeah, um, they have um, grade. It's basically Glowforge grade um, materials that you can use, and so there is a little QR code. The camera and the Glowforge automatically reads that, Which and is so nice. and it automatically sets the setting in there. Uh, the depth, the speed, and all of those things. Um, however, Glowforge grade materials are pretty pricey. And so we found a lot of um, amazing resources for inexpensive materials. Yes. And, but because of that, we have to set the materials ourselves. Um, generally, the places that you purchase from will have a recommendation for what to set it at. So that's really nice. Oh, yeah. But if you're doing something random, like we got some silicone um, pieces of fun stuff yesterday. And... <laughs> We're working on engraving and stuff like that. So it was sort of just trial and error there. And that I would say that is the most difficult because if you have a membership like Oak and Lamb or something like that with cut files that um, work with your with your die cut machine or with your Glowforge, then it's literally just importing those in, sizing them and and selecting the material. Yeah. It is so easy. Anna's here. Hi. Anna's Anna. here with us today. She just spilled my drink all over the floor. I love those Thank shoes. You. I'm a Nike gal myself. 
And uh, Anna, Anna, you just ordered Reeboks on Black Friday, I thought. I feel like me and Anna have like the same closet. We have a lot of the same uh, shoes, and I love those. The only thing I hate is white soles, but you can't find. I get my soles dirty, and then I'm like, ew. Well, the problem Magic is, though. Eraser. Magic eraser. If you get black, sometimes they look a little manly. It's, it's true. Yeah. It's a give and take there. Because I, I went to get Fallon some new school shoes. Did I tell you this? No. I got her some new ones. I ended up getting some black and white Nike, or Adidas slide-ons. Yeah. Because, one, I, tying her shoes all the time is just not my favorite thing. Yeah. Um, even double knotting doesn't help. Oh, but I was going to get solid black, and when I looked at them, I was like, man, they are so masculine. Like, yeah, yeah. So I just couldn't. Yeah. yeah. And you can switch the overhead, and we'll paint this as okay. we continue to talk. These are just the little pieces Becca cut out of the Glowforge. And this is what she was talking about that took, like, less than a minute. Or, no, a little under two minutes is cutting this, this, and this. And this has got some detail in it, too. Um, but aren't they cute? So we're not going to be painting this at all. This is going to stay this beautiful little brown color. I mean, you can paint it if you want to. If you want to paint this brown and not have it, um, I guess you could say tex textured looking or speckly looking, you can. We're going to be painting this white and this red. So we're going to always start out with white. If we're doing like a mix of colors like this, I always start out with white so that I don't accidentally get any uh, red in it. Poor Anna's over there cleaning, <laughs> cleaning up. She got some loaded teas, guys. Do you all like loaded teas? Let, let me know. I, I'm not even looking at the comments. Becca is, so she'll let me know what you say. One friend just said that, that she hated Elf on the Shelf. I said it's definitely a love or hate thing. I have friends yes. who you either love it or you hate it. Yes. Mark creeped out by it. Yeah. Now, Anna said that Mark, her husband, is creeped out by it. I will say, and my sister does watch these sometimes, but I, would, I, I have told this to her face, but... She has always been the top to be creeped out by stuff like that. She was creeped out by Elf on the Shelf. And I, I think I remember pretty vividly her saying that she would never get Elf on a Shelf for her kids. And I'm telling you what, my perfect niece, Juliet, is, was not even three months old. And Sarah bought her an Elf on the Shelf. Just brought it right home from Target, loud and proud. And I'm like, now, Sarah... You said you weren't going to get an elf on the so, shelf. So, a lot of people are saying it's not that they don't like, it's more spending the time to move it and, yes, and all yes. that. You However, can't. you can be, I mean, you can be super crazy and creative with it and spend time every night, or you can just move it from one location to the next. Like, True. my kids, honestly, if it gets put on top of their cookie jar looking like it's trying to get in the cookie jar, which took me two seconds, they think that's amazing. They don't care. Um, or... I don't know. Everyone wants to know what a loaded tea is. Oh, a loaded tea. It's, I um, thought that was a more well-known thing. It's a Herbalife. It, maybe it's a southern thing. I don't know. It's by Herbalife, and it's a tea that has like, collagen and uh, biotin and some caffeine and protein. and um, I don't know. They're so yummy. Do they want me to? Someone said, show us your cute shoes. Do I need to put my foot up on They're them? not that cute, but you can put them up if you want. Guys, I'm just, I love shoes that go with anything. And Anna's got shoes that go with anything, and I'm all for that. I mean, I can put my foot up. They're just that. black Nike. No, Mary Ann, chai tea is not. Oh, wait, chia tea or chai tea? Which one? Have you not, Mary Ann, have you not been to Morristown Nutrition right across from us here? And everyone is uh, obsessed with this boba tea. Yeah, I've never had that. Mom said, or you can get Anna to do it for you. Do what? Your elf on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. This morning, um, we put them on the mantle and brought out their um, letters to Santa <gasps> ornament things yes. that they write the letter and put them in there. And that's literally all we did. We just put it on the mantle with those. And they were super happy. They totally need to be playing that drum set next. Yeah, well, you can do that one. And um, I forgot about my glitter, but it's okay because I got it. So, Rachel, did you already say it? I may not have been paying attention. Why are you using a sponge instead of a paintbrush? Yes. So, this is, these are sponges that we get. Uh, I called them pouncers earlier. These are actually makeup sponges, and you can get these at, like, the Dollar Tree. We got ours on Amazon for, like, a pack of 200, something like that. And... Things like this that are of this material do really well with, with a sponge better than a brush. It's almost like you're adding more coats with a brush than a sponge. Would you agree, Becca? I was not More coats attention. with a brush than a sponge? Yes, and you don't have the brush stroke issue. Yes, so this, the pouncing method really works on this kind of stuff, for sure. 
So I'm going to throw some glitter on our nose here. And you might be thinking, well, okay, are you going to have to like spray that with something? No, I'm just going to make sure it has some wet paint on it. Oh, well, good grief, if my nose won't flip over. The volume just dropped tremendously, and it's hard to hear you all. I have my volume all the way up. Is anyone else having issues? It's yeah. interesting because we had a couple of comments. And, and I cranked I went it back, up. And I went back and rewatched them, and we're not having any issues. So I'm thinking it's people who are who are wearing earphones or headphones. That seems to be which the common is, denominator. Good... So we're, gonna, we're still going to look into it. We're not saying it's, it's your fault. No, 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 absolutely no, no. not. But, absolutely yeah, not. it makes me wonder. Okay. So I threw him in there, and I'm actually going to get, if Becca doesn't get mad at me, what? I'm going to get some reverse tweezers and dig him out. Why are you mad about that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to ever mess up any, any. I can wipe it off. Anna, do you want to talk? She said it low. Anna, someone said, does Anna have children? She does she not. Some around. Anna's the fun aunt. I just have fur babies oh. right now. Yes. Maybe, maybe when I'm a full-time crafter, you all will get to see a baby Lammy or something. <laughs> yeah, base white. Now, I'm going through here and just adding some more coats of this. It takes literally no time for this to dry. So I'm just going, my gloves are dry. Don't freak out, guys. The, the red paint is dried on my gloves, so it's not getting on here. But I'm adding it on the side and the front. You can even go in here with like a little brush if you wanted to and add some paint in the center, but it doesn't bother me like that. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go through here, get the edge. And you guys can take this outside. Becca, how do you think spray paint would do on this? Oh, it's great. I've actually spray painted India for so before. So yeah. you guys could take this outside, spray paint it if that's easier for you. Um... I don't need to be around those fumes right now. And this is much better for a live stream to just kind of give you some tips and tricks on it. So our little nose is drying over here. And I'm actually going to get some um, min wax here in a bit and squirt that with a little bit of min wax polycrylic spray um, just to make sure there's no fallout of that glitter for us. Because um, we don't want that to get everywhere. But this is going to be absolutely adorable. We have our Lynn Lily preheating for us so that we can attach this. Now guys, I didn't ask Becca if she would have used hot glue, but as thin as this is, I was terrified to pretty much use anything else. So I'm probably gonna put a couple of dots of hot glue here and then place it down. You guys can use wood glue or whatever you want. It actually would not be a terrible idea to use spray adhesive on this either, just because of how thin it is, or a zig glue pen, but you want something a little sturdier than that. So I'm gonna use some little dots of hot glue. Please use whatever you want. Yeah, um, I will say this. I do usually use um, wood glue on this because you can put a small amount and then what, when you push the layers of the MDF board together, together, the glue sort of comes out on the sides. And so with the wood glue, since it's not, it takes a minute to set up, I can take, excuse me, like a Q-tip or a paintbrush or something like that and sort of clean up the excess. Um, so that's why I choose that. But um, we'll see how hot glue does. It's a great idea. Oh, now that's made me nervous, but we're, <laughs> we're gonna go with it. Hey, I, we're gonna go I with it. I'm gluing it either way. As long as it's stuck to your ornament, guys. Yeah. That second coat looks really good. It popped it really good. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. And again, you guys can do as many coats as you want. Let me check on our cricket. Okay, it's 14 of 24 passes. That's going that's going a bit quicker than I thought. And it looks really good. Do you want to stop it and see if it's cut through? Or yeah. do you I mean yeah. you do you, but Yeah, let's let's check. Um Okay. I just hit pause, right? Yes, just pause. Okay. I'm gonna hit pause. And she's not gonna unload it. She's just pausing it. And it will take a minute. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. So now, did it, are you even gonna be able to see it? Crap. What? <laughs> I can check it maybe on the back. Oh, it's cut. Is it cut all the way through? Okay, let me check up. I can't check up there. Uh, the back is cut all the way through, which is a, oh, I have one. Huh. This is cut all the way through, and he, but here's the thing. I'm more worried about this. The detail is what usually doesn't cut through enough, um, but it's cut on the back. Should we just, we have one cut just in case. Yeah, I said take it out and see, and you said it was 16 of 24 passes? Uh-huh. Okay. 16 Which of 24 is passes. Which generally is what is when I take mine out. I don't know why it thinks it needs all that, it, yeah. that many more. Eight I, mean, more. I, I guess I'd rather it cut too, too much than not enough, but... 
still. I mean, I, I get one, maybe one extra or something. Like, you would think they would have that down to a, a fine science. Let's see here. I think. Okay. Let's see how it goes. So, anyway, what you would do, you would not want to unload your mat like Rachel yeah. did. And then you could kind of um, bend up and see like that. See how it's coming completely up. And then if it weren't coming up like that, then you would go ahead and resume your cut. Um, since it's coming up, you unload your mat and you're fine. Oh, my gosh. Look at oh that. Oh, my 16 gosh. 16 pounds. So, I, don't, I didn't see what time you started it. But that I definitely wasn't 30 minutes. I would say 15 15 minutes? Yeah. I don't and know. I'm just pulling that gently. I had a little bit of that uh, tape on there. That's so cute. So look, now we have two. Oh, wait, is one bigger than the other? No, I'm tripping. Oh, no, it is. One's a little bigger. Well, duty. Well, good. Did you cut, your, this? Did you cut your vinyl out already? No, to, but it's going to fit this one yeah. perfect. Yeah. Which is perfect. Weird, I didn't. Okay. Well, we're, now we're going to put our vinyl in here. I'm going to do, let me see what Cricut wants me to do. I'm going to bring this back over here and plug it back in so that we all can see this together. It wants me to do white first. So I'm going to put white down. This is our huge roll. Becca, tell them how much we love bulk rolls. Oh, my gosh. Oh. It is so, if you get colors that you use a lot, like white and black, which is what we use a ton of, yes. then if you don't get a roll, I, I don't know. It's incredible. It's so inexpensive to do this. And it's funny because when I started out with Cricut, I've said this before, uh, I just got Cricut brand vinyl because it's it's the brand. You would think that the company making the machine that you're using would have the best material for it. And that's just not the case. But I would buy Cricut brand vinyl and I hated it. I hated weeding it. I hated transferring it. I was always fighting with it. Um, and it's super flipping expensive. And so when I heard about 143 and saw the pricing, I was like, this has got to be cheap. There's no way that it can be this inexpensive and still good. And it is. Like, we've tried a lot of vinyls. And compared a lot, like head-to-head -head comparisons. So I've put some flat vinyl on here. I have referred to Design Space to see the dimensions that we need. And I needed 5 by 5 and that's exactly what I put down here for us. Um, so I'm going to go back here, Becca, if you want to switch over, you can. Yeah. Um, really quickly, um, if you all are wanting to cut chipboard on your Cricut, uh, your maker, it, you do need, I think this is one of the ones, like leather and chipboard, anything that you have to use the knife blade to cut, you do need to be um, hardwired into your machine. It does not like to do the longer cuts if you're just Bluetooth. So keep that in mind, which also means you can't do it on an iOS device. Yes, that's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing tip for sure. Um, okay, I have set this to premium vinyl, vinyl removable mat. And we can go to, do I want to do, Becca? Hmm. I'm going to pull a U. Are we still over here? I'm still um, on yours, yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch this over. Okay. Um, Put it on the same one? Yeah, we can see this. It's just the nose. I'm going to click edit. It won't let me do it right now. Ugh. Just press cancel. Yeah, I'm going to press yeah. cancel and do this. Um, this is going to save us some time. So we see this is going to be cut out. I want to cut this out on the same mat. I'll just like scoot it up in the top right corner. So what I'm going to do is go over here and you can see it right there. I'm going to click these three little dots and click move object. I'm going to switch it to that other mat that I wanted to switch it to and put it way over up in the corner. And now I'm going to click continue. And since I switched that over, I will have to reselect my material setting, but I just favorited it right when we found it because we will... I'll be using this material a lot. So right here it is. Done. So now we can switch over. Actually, let's do overhead, back. I'm sorry if I... Okay, that's okay. I'm like running you all over the place. You're already doing so many people's jobs over there. Um, so a couple of questions... Well, one question. Uh, what length of roll is available in the StarCraft vinyl? So you can get a 12... You, it comes in 12 by 12 sheets, 12 by 24 sheets, or you can get a roll that is 12 by 5 feet or 12 by 10 yards, so 12 by 30 feet, and the price of a 12 by 30 foot roll of vinyl is $14.99, 30 feet. That's nuts. $14.99, it's absolutely insane. I'll drop the link for you all. If you have not bought from 143 Vinyl, absolutely consider it. It is absolutely amazing. Their um, Caesar Easy Weed Vinyl is just as amazing too, so the HTV, Amazing pricing. Definitely check out 143.
Becca, I now I have a predicament. What's your predicament? This is a different setting than this. It's okay. Just try it. You think I'll do I okay? would do the heavier setting. <gasps> you don't have to tell me twice. Rachel, they like the sticker on your light side. I'm trying to create mine Which so that one? we can have one of the Which three one? Of this is... Uh, they only see the one of us. Oh, they only see this one? That says favorite. Um, Yeah. This this rings true. I've had this on here forever. You can tell it's like faded for my sweaty hands have been so yeah, and often. My, and my hair is longer. And Becca's hair is longer. Yeah, yeah. I'm super tan, which I'm <laughs> pale as a ghost. Are you, Rachel? And, yes. Yes, I am, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Final. Let's see here. Ooh, what is this? What is this? This is, oh, this is, this is smart vinyl. Where's smart vinyl? Smart vinyl. Crap, is this permanent or removable? Let me check. I think it's permanent. Removable. That's removable? Removable. Why did we get removable? It's I all removable. Favorite. I'm Please. not favoring that. It's all removable. Oh, 100%. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it on default pressure. Now we can switch finally to me, back. I'm sorry. What a wild ride. It has been, yeah. What a ride. Keeping ride. them on their toes. Yes. So we have our white right here and our red right here. I'm going to pop it right in here to cut. Rach, when you're done with that, can you explain the difference between matteless and matted cutting? Of course. Of course. Good question. I'm also going to switch our uh, blade because we have our knife blade in and we need our fine point blade. Ooh, so I'm going to pop that fine point blade in the clamp B. And I'm also going to move our stars back because we have all those pushed up. Anna, did you see Shep? Look. I love little Shep Jimmy. is just sitting here. Being the best boy ever. Yep. He's such a quiet helper. I wonder what kind of mischief he's going to get into tonight while we're gone. Ho hopefully you help him before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> or else he'll never move. R Rachel and I are like, we could put him in the gumball machine. <laughs> also, Becca used to stay here a lot longer than I did. And now, it's, which is amazing, Becca yeah. works when she gets home. But we leave the office usually at the same time. Or else I think it would give each other more of an opportunity to really mess with each I other. I think we again. should do that, Rachel. I think one of us should, like, we could, like, alternate. Take turns who. Yeah. It's my day. Each other. Dad, come in. I gotta Dad. move the elf for Rachel. <laughs> you already have to move it at your house, and now you want to have to worry my about kids, moving it here. My kid said, is the, is the elf here to make sure Rachel's being good? I said, yeah. Not you, Mama. I said, no. She said, because you're always good. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. What is Santa getting shut for Christmas? Um, a... Trip back to the North Pole. No, That's a, what he's getting. a crafting with a flock. He's getting him a gift certificate for the crafting with a flock course from Oak and Lamb. Oh. Yeah. Well, speaking of craft with the flock, if you guys want that course, we have it. It's ready. If you want to buy it, very first link down below in the description, go grab it. It's a great time to um, experience expand your crafty knowledge in your brain to just know and learn so much more from woodworking to resin to sublimation print and cut sewing paper crafting there's so much in there for everyone to learn and enjoy so definitely go grab that course you will not regret it and also if you buy it today you can enjoy um our flock which is their exclusive facebook group through may 31st uh which is amazing so click it and grab it Yes. Okay, Becca, let's see how this cut. I have high hopes. I have high hopes for this. Let's see how it cut. I'm going to take a scraper tool. I also have a weeder tool here. And I'm going to very carefully scrape this and burnish this down. You guys know we always burnish. And if you don't, this is your sign. You must always burnish. You can't over burnish your adhesive vinyl. I'm just going to boop, boop, boop. Do that one too. I always weed what's hard first. Actually, I'm just nervous about this one. Let's see how this did. Perfect. Done. Wow. Easy. Now I'm going to weed this. We'll see how it goes. Oh, this is just the cutest. Okay. Now we're going to weed inside here. How cute is this? Oh, my goodness. Careful, careful, careful. Well, that... That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Whoop, picked up the wrong thing. Okay. Pull this sucker out here. We'll get those reverse tweezers we were using. There's a lot. I just looked over, Becca. We've got a, a lot of reindeer on this table. Yeah, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of reindeer over here. 
hard to keep them straight. So if you guys are a little confused, uh, first of all, I'm sorry, I keep bouncing around. We're creating two of these today. And one of them you can cut with your Cricut, which is the one that we are doing right now. And then one of them you can cut out of a Glowforge, which is the one that we were painting earlier, if you guys have stuck around. So I'm sorry if I'm just kind of bouncing around, but um, it's our goal here at Oak and Lamb to teach you how to do a wide variety of crafts. So that's why we're kind of hitting two birds with one stone today with the different ways to do things, which is great. Okay, so we have our little nose, which I think what I'm going to do is take this little nose, peel it up just with my hand. God, this is so hard to peel up. I hate this vinyl. Shep's flock number is number one. Yeah, yeah, it's number one. Zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. Mm -hmm. I want to take this and place it right where I want it. That way I don't have to transfer two over. So I just have to transfer one. Like that. Now we can take our transfer tape and cut this to size here. I don't know what brand this is. Becca, do you know what brand this is? What's Anna making fun of me for? I wish I could give him a start right now. <laughs> Guys, they're looking at my they're looking at my craft cart, which is it doesn't have crafts, it just has so snacks in it. full of snacks that she has two boxes that won't fit in there that are on her desk. <laughs> Guys, I'm 21 weeks pregnant. She is, leave her alone. I'm 21, I'm growing organs, literally. tarts over here in this cart. <laughs> It'll get her through till next Are you year. on me? This is my favorite. <laughs> I know. Well, and the baby, I love the hot baby sauce. likes hot. Charlie likes hot sauce. Charlie no, likes I think it's sauce. I think it's fantastic. I'm actually jealous of Rachel's <laughs> craft car. Oh, sure. To I'm the eyeing grocery it. store and stock mine. I have not one snack here. So, are, what you're telling me, Ann, is that you're jealous. Uh, yes. <laughs> Look at her. She was like, um. That's exactly what I'm saying. I know it. I know it. I know. You're just jealous. <laughs> Do we no longer recommend the paper transfer tape? No, Amanda, we still love the paper transfer tape. However, we like clear transfer tape for things like this that we need to really, really, really be able to see where we're putting it. Uh, so, great question. Now, this is not Cricut brand transfer tape. We, we Honestly, I used to hate on Cricut brand transfer tape a whole lot, but have started liking it more. Mm -hmm. um, however, this one's less expensive, and I like it just as much. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I'll burnish this down again with our burnishing tool, our scraper tool here. And what I'm going to do is flip this entire mat over, pull this off like that. What that does is helps our vinyl not to um, curl at all. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim this up a little bit. I'm going to trim this up a little bit, get some of this off of here. And Becca probably already said this, and I um, wasn't paying attention because I was too busy being humiliated over hot sauce. Uh, um. But um, another reason why we chose clear transfer tape is so we could really see where we're putting it. Yes. I don't know if she said that. She probably did. I did, but that's okay. <gasps> Becca. What? I didn't put this transfer tape on my shirt before I laid it down. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it might be okay. I, was, I hate this red. I freaking hate this red. I hate it. Doesn't want to ever peel up for me. Okay. So, I feel like I should do it now, but I don't want to make the vinyl not stick. You know what? YOLO. YOLO. I'm just going to be careful as I place this down. This is stinking adorable. Becca, why is this so cute? It's so cute. It this really is. This is so cute. Now, you have a little bit of leeway here if you don't lay it down. Right. Too quickly. That looks good to me. That looks good to me. I don't want to be too crazy with it here. That's good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger. I'm not going to burnish with the burnishing tool because I really am scared about this transfer tape pulling up. So, I'm just going to use my finger and go around it and then peel it up from like an edge here. 
and then I can go back in with my finger and like tap it back into place. I'd much rather do that than this um, <clears throat> peel up any of our uh, chipboard. I don't want that to happen to mm -hmm. us. Sarah's Ooh. coming to your defense and saying that she has hot sauce on her keychain. Sarah bought me hot sauce for my keychain. I remember. It's it's like this little bitty Tabasco. Is it Tabasco? Or Texas Pete. I, think it's I don't remember. Oh, I forget I think it's which Texas Pete. It I forget which one it is. And she she said she was going to buy me refills for it because here's the thing. If someone buys me something little, which Sarah knows I love little things, like miniature items of large things, and I don't... I don't have extras. I refuse to use it. Like, I don't want to use it up and then never be able to use it again, if that makes any sense yeah, at all. No, it does. Oh, sorry, guys. I was just getting my little bubbles out. That is so stinking cute. Absolutely adorable. So, she hasn't bought me any refills, and I have no idea where she gets it. So, I haven't even used it. But you know what? It's there for an emergency. I would use it in an emergency. So, this one is much cuter. This one. And if you guys don't know the story about this one, um, Becca and Anna did this on Black Friday uh, as a helping hands, which means Becca was Anna's hands crafting. So Becca could not see. She did this one and could not see. So I think it looks pretty good for not being able to see. Now I'm going to squirt. Nobody freak out. Done. I just put like a, a little bit of this polyurethane you on there. your breath, right? Uh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I'm still holding it right now. Um, my big thing is glitter fallout. I hate glitter fallout. It makes me so irritated. So that's going to stop that from happening. So I'm going to scooch this over and put this here. Especially, guys, even oh, I was buying Christmas ornaments the other day, a couple weeks ago, and they have glitter on the ornaments, like from Walmart and, and uh, Hobby Lobby and what's that one place? Target. Target and stuff like that. And the ones with glitter on them have glitter fallout. And I can't really? stand that. I'm like, if I'm paying, if I'm paying for, yes, I'm still vacuuming and sweeping up glitter at home. Um, and it irritates me. So I want to give everything a good little, a little, good little coat there. So I'm going to throw both of these away. We're good. And we are almost done, guys. We just have to assemble this little fella. Can they see, Becker? or should I put a piece of white paper under this? Can they see this pretty good? I can see it. Okay, amazing. So this is dry, this is drying. It'll be dry really quick. I just did a really quick coat. And I'm gonna place this on here. I'm nervous about this, Becca. I'm yeah. Nervous. So I think once I put the glue on there, I'm gonna place it down with this just to help me a little bit. But here's the thing with hot glue. You have to work pretty fast, especially when you do little bitty beads of hot glue. You're kinda on a bit of a time crunch. So I think I'm gonna stick this on here. Line it up, make sure I know where, oh my God, this is so cute, Becca. Make sure I like where it's going to go, and I'm going to add some hot glue. I'm a little, I'm a little stressed out. Okay, we're going to add a little bead here. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Like my sound effects? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're the best. Thank we're you. living for them. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Is that, a, is that on the stripe? <gasps> That's adorable. Okay, amazing. Press it down. That looks cute. Looks super cute. So I did like six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I did six beads of glue on this. Um, it's going to stay fine. It's staying fine. So just totally depends on what you want to do. If you want to use wood glue on there, maybe, maybe that's the best choice, I think, is some wood glue. This is a, like a, a really quick quick method, especially if you're doing something you want it to dry super soon. So now I'm going to place their little nose on. I'm going to hold this just like I did beforehand, picked it up like this. I'm going to angle it a little bit like this so I can place it right down there. I'm going to add some hot glue on this. And Becca, feel free to stop if there's any questions or anything that I've... No. Because mm -mm. I'm not even looking at comments. I should be, but I'm going to let this go and then place him. Why is this so cute? What is that? I don't know what that was. It's a leaf brush. Okay. Do you guys love how I keep including this one? I keep including it. It must be included. Must be included. I, I've, I see nothing wrong with that one. I don't see anything wrong with it either. <laughs> so I do want to talk about a couple of the differences here, Becca, with Cricut versus Chipboard. Mm -hmm. Or, excuse me, this MDF board, Cricut versus Glowforge. 
There is a bit of a difference here. Yeah. Now, I have to say, Becca might disagree with me. I do not think the cricket could cut this out of chipboard. This ship. The ship. No, I think it would I think it would mangle it. That's it would, why it would that's why I elected it. for yeah. Yes. I think it would mangle so, it. Which makes me sad because I think the depth of this one just is incredible. I love I love the depth of that. I'm gonna unplug my laptop so I can actually read comments because Oh, but you're gonna have to plug it back in so that we can generate a number for our winner. Oh, you're gonna put me on the spot. I doing am. That? I want okay. him to see that it's totally random. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So is your number the actual slot number? Oh my okay. god. Okay. Yes. That's that was all Becca's idea too, That's Anna. That's a great idea. Well then, switch it to me, I guess, for a second. All right. All right. We're giving away a cricket, and I'm excited. It's going to be a cricket maker free. Um, to one of our flock members, which is amazing. Again. If you would like to join the flock, we would love for you to join the flock. Click the very first link down below. Grab that mini course. Um, and then you also get to enjoy the flock through May 31st, which is an incredible value. Um, because it, it, I think it should be a lot more expensive than it is. It's, it's definitely worth it. Our community is priceless to us, of course. And we hope it's priceless to you guys, too. Uh, Becca, what is our minimum what number are we started 323 323 and our max is wait we have to show you your computer i know i'm not going to click generate okay. yet okay I'm not gonna max click generate. um is hold on i had it and now 323 I've is the minimum and i the, love that we're doing order number that's no. like the best idea ever. max is 526 526 Sometimes now i'm not going to press it yet not going to gonna press it yet I um be thinking about which one of these you absolutely love if you are intrigued about the Glowforge and you're like, I would like to learn more about that. I would like to see what it's about. I want to know how much it is. I want to know what you need for it. I want to know the ins and outs of it. We're going to be introducing you to that slowly but surely um, in the next few weeks and months. We want to get you guys comfortable with Glowforge. And if you guys happen to be interested in it, might, might want one. We want to be your place for education for that. And tomorrow, Beck is going to be doing an incredible live with the Glowforge too. So that's going to be super fun. I've already turned our glue gun off just in case. Shep has been watching this whole time. Um, he's been so good. He's been the best co-star. <laughs> he's really given me the spotlight today. He hasn't ragged you about your hot sauce. He ha <sighs> Wait a minute. What? Where did his arms go? They had to be so that I could put his shirt you on. You crucified me. I mean, so that Santa could put that. his shirt. So he. Wow. I was going to make a shirt. And then when we went to Hobby Lobby. Guys, turn him around. Turn him around, Rachel. <laughs> You want to go the overhead camera? Yeah. <laughs> so here, here's Shep's. This Shep's is an ornament. Photo. It was an ornament, and it came on a little hanger. And <laughs> oh, oh, my God. We just flipped it around. It's like a party going yes, and coming. Yes, it's a mullet. It's so a mullet part, shirt. Yeah, this is the front party. The That's bad. That's bad. Oh, okay, who wants to win a cricket? Who wants to win? Oh, Shep almost went down. Oh, poor Shep. Okay. Let's see who goes in when a cricket, Becca. All I have to do is click generate. Well, you have to plug it in first. Crap. Yeah. Crap. I thought I did that. Okay, hang Someone on. Someone said, I want a Glowforge, but don't have ventilation. <gasps> yes. You guys are going to, well, I mean, you can get an indoor ventilation system, and then you'll have to see what we did for hours. It's a little. It's amazing. Janky. It right. works amazing. Okay, are we ready to go yes. over? Yes, I made okay. this thing humongous. So we have our minimum, 323. We have our maximum, 526. All I'm right. so nervous. Okay. Are okay. you really ready? Yes. Okay. Drum roll. Here we go. So excited. Our winner for the Cricket Maker 3, a flock member, is order number 325. Which is Cat. Oh, Kat. my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Cat. <laughs> you won. That is hysterical. <laughs> Yeah, and again, we cannot, this is literally, look, this is a Google generator. I just Googled number generator. Cat Yeski. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Cat. <laughs> Congratulations, Cat. We are delighted that you won. So let us know. Becca, are we still, 
Doing that one thing we talked about. Yeah, so so Kat, if you decide, like, I think you want a Maker 3. I wanted to be sure before yeah. I talked about it. If but. you decide you don't want a Maker 3, you would rather have, like, a sublimation printer or something, like, what we can do is give you an Amazon gift card for the same amount, and you can purchase whatever, whatever you, want you want with it. It's yes. totally up to you. Whichever one yeah. you want. Just message us, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Thank so you. That is so funny. That is hysterical. <laughs> Congratulations, Kat. I hope that you have had uh, a really fun time here with the flock. And we Is she in here? Oh, there she is. I don't know. Okay. We value you so much. Thank you so much for for being here. You guys are amazing. Oh, now let me pull that out again. Super exciting. <sighs> well, this has been fun. We made two um, ornaments. It's felt a little scatterbrained. So I think next time we'll try and think through it on my part on what we can do to make it not confusing. It was confusing to me, the maker, and I know it was confusing to you, the viewers, because I kept going from like painting to chipboard to vinyl to weeding, and I didn't want to do that. But here's the thing, I wanted to cut this out for you guys. You guys want to see the visuals of things. I want you to too. So we had to have this be, be cutting for like 30 minutes while we did other things. So I hope it made sense. I hope it wasn't super um, confusing. I hope, I hope not, but Becca, Ribbon, twine, jute, whatever they want yeah, to do. Anything you want for this. Baker's um, twine, yeah. I, I don't regret at all putting um, min wax on that. I think that was a good idea. That was a good idea if you want to put some min wax on that. Remember to push the thumbs up button, folks. Susan, yes, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Be sure to do that. We are, how many do we have? How many do we have? 72. 968 subscribers. Oh, on the We're YouTubes, so yes. so close to 1,000 subscribers, guys. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We want to reach 1,000 so, so bad. And it's all because of you. Thank you so much. I, I can't believe that we've already almost hit 1,000 subscribers. And, Becca, how long have we been on YouTube? Not even three weeks? Our first live was not last Monday, but the Monday before. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? I don't know. She's right. She's right. Has it only been that long? Yes. Yeah. I, I thought like we've been doing this for like a year. <laughs> no. Well, because traditionally would not do a live every single day. Yes. Um, but so it just feels like we have a lot of content already which, in which two weeks, great. which is amazing. Yeah. Yes, which is amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. These were adorable. I cannot believe how cute this one is. And Becca, if you wanted to like mass make these for like as like a party gift or something like this, you could do that super easily, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So easy. I mean, it would also be little... cute to do like a little, if you were going to have like a holiday party with the kids or something, you could pre-cut those and let them paint them and put them together and do a little kit. Yeah. yeah. You can make like a little assembly line, do all the cutting and then have the paints out and, and set up and everything. This is just the cutest little thing ever. I love it. I'm late, but congratulations, Kat Maria. That's so sweet. Charlotte, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. I love replying to YouTube comments, seeing you guys, all your amazing faces and all of your sweet testimonies and your kind words. It's amazing. Kat, I don't feel worthy of the win. Kat, you're worthy of the win. We're so thankful for you. Thank you so much, Kat. And hey, Google picked you. We didn't. Google picked you. So there you go. <laughs> Let me see. Becca, come into camera view. Was was that your hair Anna posted? No, Becca no. doesn't do, I mean, Anna doesn't really do Becca's hair. Uh, only sometimes. She's getting it done Saturday. I'm doing it Saturday. Oh, oh. <laughs> Becca's getting her hair done by Anna Saturday. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, what are you getting done? Becca doesn't actually have gray. That post was someone that's like almost... 90% gray um, that was Which I was just telling Becca about that. That was the most gorgeous color. Thank you. From so dark Thank to that you. beautiful color. Oh, I think Becca has like six gray hairs total. I'm, I'm just getting my highlights touched up. I'm just some more baby lights. Tone, mm -hmm. tone that Get rid of the, the yellow brassy That look. yellow mm -hmm. nasty. The yellow nasty. Are we monetized yet? No, Melissa, we're still not. We're so close. We have to have a thousand subscribers, which we're so close to. And we have to have 4,000 watch hours, which we're not really that close to. We're half. Oh, yeah, half. we have like 2.6, I think. Which is great. Um, to be on there. Here, yeah. I was literally looking it up on Google, like estimates. 
The estimation for getting 4,000 watch hours was two years. Good Lord. Two years. Of course, my stomach drops. And then I realized that our flock is not ordinary people. And we're going to hit that way sooner than two years, which is amazing. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yes, at 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why I don't just bring this closer so I don't look so awkward leaning in. Sean, a purple shampoo. I use it once a week. I love purple shampoo. Um, it's great. I have purple shampoo. I just never use it. Yeah, it dries your hair. And, out. and well, it dries my hair out. from the bathroom. Although it, the dry, mi- it dries. I your use hair milkshake out. silver shampoo, and it's probably the most moisturizing of all the purple shampoos. I don't hate it. I just don't love the smell. It does a really great job toning, though. If I put mine on, and I try and plan it. We're all about TMI. This isn't TMI. We, I try to plan it to where I need to like also shave my legs or something that takes a little bit longer in the shower spot. I'm not like sitting there waiting. But if I let it sit on my head, the shampoo, the purple shampoo in my head, for 10 minutes while I'm shaving my legs and washing my body and things like that, I come out and it, it has a purple hue to it for a day or two before um, I can wash it two or three times. I personally love it. It works so well. A bottle lasts me a long time. Um... Okay, this is the sweetest. Melissa said, um, oh, no, uh, everyone set up videos on replay so they so they get their watch hours. Carly said, does it count if we re- re-watch a bunch of videos to help dump up, jump up? Good time. I can't read today. Um, I'll start watching and replaying. You all are the sweetest. Are like, the seriously. Sweetest. Um, and to answer your question, because even though we're not we're not asking you to do that, if you wanted to do that, Yes, you can rewatch them. It just has to be, I think it's 48 hours afterwards. So after you watch it the first time. So you can do that. We're, again, we're not asking you to. You guys have done plenty for us. But if you're ever wondering, you can do that. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Melissa said, let's get their watch hours done by the end of the week. That would be We amazing. can do it. I w- <laughs> I'd probably give away another maker if that were to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just proclaim that right now. Yeah. Cat got one. We're going to give away another uh, If we're maker. at 4,000 watch hours by the end of the week, I'll personally pay for another maker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll chip in. Listen, whatever we need to do, you guys are amazing. You guys are so sweet. Yes. Well, I hope you guys have an incredible rest of your day. In your week, I hope that it's decent weather. It's been decent weather today. A little chilly, but right now it's 52, which 52 is honestly pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Our town's Christmas parade is tomorrow night, and I'm kind of excited about that. I I cannot decide if I want to go or not, but that's usually my introverted, um, you know, anxiety-ridden self that doesn't want to go do things, but I never regret it when I go and do fun things like that. So I think we're going to go to that Christmas parade. Let us know what you guys are doing. Um... In this upcoming week, are you doing anything festive? Do you guys go to like a Christmas tree farm and cut down your Christmas trees? Let me know some of your sweet family traditions. I always love that. And if you want to, you can post them. Start a thread in the uh, Flock Facebook group. I would love that too. I love going on there and seeing what you guys are Rachel, doing. Rachel, Julie said we'll do the same, meaning if we have 4,000 watch hours by the end of the week, they will also buy a maker. So we'll give away two makers <laughs> if we hit 4,000 by the end of the week. Dang. We had to get a thousand followers too. That to too. Well, we're close. We're yeah. close to that anyway. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we should say both. One, we'll give away one maker get, for a thousand subs, and the other maker if we get four thousand watch hours. I don't know. We, you know, this is really on the fly here. I hope no one's writing this down, setting this in stone. But <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fun to say words, right, Becca? <laughs> We're going to give away two makers if we get 4,000 by the end of the week. And done. Now my stomach hurts. <laughs> that can be carved in stone. I yeah. will make it happen. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, we'll totally make that happen. How yes. many hours do you have now? Like 26. 2.6. 2. Yeah, 2,600. Yeah. 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 Let's go, ladies. Melissa says, you're so sweet. Um, my husband is going to help me make glitter ornaments. Linda. They loved that live the other day, Rachel. That did glitter. They? they did. They loved the glitter ornament live. That... Yeah. That's amazing though. We can let us know what you want to see. We can do more or again, in all the comments, I reply to every single YouTube comment. I we all of our eyes see them all. So let us know if there's a video you want us to 
make for you guys if there's a live project you want to know. Someone said, I think it was uh, Tina, she's the one that said, uh, I wanted to see etching. And I'm like, it's already up Monday. We're doing etching on Monday. So whatever you guys want to see, let us know. We're here for you. We want to make sure that you guys are seen and heard and things like that. So, yeah, let us, let us know. Thank you guys so much. Okay, done. These two are done. They're adorable. I don't think it's much of a comparison, though, because this one's so it's much so cute. cute. Like, just the 3D. Dude, uh, this is, we'll take Shep's picture like, with it a little bit later. Yeah, Tossing it, and yeah. then this one, I mean, it's for Shep. Yeah. It's for so Shep. Cute. It's so, so cute. adorable. Well, thank you all so much. We hope you have a fantastic afternoon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this live. Let us know in the comments down below um, what you would like to see in the upcoming videos. Becca is going to be here tomorrow with some more Glowforge stuff. So yeah, we're pulling the Glowforge on set. I'm so excited for y'all to see it in action. Get your questions we'll ready. We'll show you the you software. Have, if yeah. you have any questions about Glowforge, write them down now. If you think of some this evening, write some down. Tomorrow's gonna be the perfect live to be able to ask Becca a lot of questions. Um, Cause we're, it's kind of like our break in video for the Glowforge. She's gonna be able to share with you, like she said, things all about the software and just all that fun stuff. So we'll be here tomorrow yep. at 1 p.m. for you guys to see and enjoy that. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.